Good morning, everybody. You're watching the morning news on CNN News 18. My name is Aisha Varma. We're a few minutes away from 8 a.m. and we have some breaking news coming in right now. United States President Joe Biden has said that he would meet with Putin if he's interested in ending the war with Ukraine. With, the, with Ukraine, Biden said that he is prepared to meet with Putin if he indicates that he is interested in ending his country's war. But Biden also added that he has not done that yet. Biden's comments came during a joint news conference with French President Emmanuel Macron, during which both leaders reaffirmed their commitment to supporting Ukraine. Listen in. Look, there's one way for this war to end, the rational way. Putin to pull out of Ukraine, number one. But it appears he's not going to do that. He's paying a very heavy price for failing to do it, but he's inflicting incredible, incredible carnage on the civilian population of Ukraine, bombing nurseries, hospitals, children's homes. It's sick what he's doing. I'm prepared to speak with Mr. Putin if, in fact, there is an interest in him deciding he's looking for a way to end the war. He hasn't done that yet. If that's the case, in consultation with my French and my NATO friends, I'll be happy to sit down with Putin to see what he wants, has in mind. I'm crossing over to CNN News 18's foreign affairs correspondent Abhishek Jha. Abhishek, so right now Biden has basically said that he's ready to meet with Putin if Putin is ready to end the war. But realistically, what are the chances of that happening? So uh, it looks like now uh, U.S. Uh, and West are increasingly uh, willing to have a negotiation. Uh, we have seen in the recent past, uh, during G20 meeting, uh, there was a very strong uh, an apprehension that the U.S. would not uh, want to meet uh, the Russian president. In fact, there were comments also from U.S. side that uh, that President Biden will not be meeting uh, Russian uh, president. So, uh, from that so that point to uh, this point, where uh, Joe Biden is willing to have a conversation with President Putin to end this whole 10-month-long war in Ukraine, uh, is something that tells a change of his stance because of the long, uh, you know and tragic uh, continuity of this war that is happening in Ukraine, where Russian side and uh, Ukraine side both are losing a lot. Uh, there is international implication of that also because we are seeing a lot of supply chain disruption in food, fertilizer, and fuel prices going up uh, across the world. So uh, the war that is happening in Ukraine is actually having a cascading effect all over the world. And uh, probably now leaders are realizing that to end this war soon, uh, only a diplomacy and talk is the only possible way to end this war soon. All right, Abhishek, thank you so much for joining us and speaking to us about the significance of this statement. For right now, we're shifting focus because we have some more breaking news.